my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I want to talk about the new Nicolas Cage film, Pay the Ghost. So I don't know about you guys, but I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I'm a little bit of a guilty pleasure Nicolas Cage fan. And let's start off by saying this movie is as cheesy as you expect a horror starring Nicolas Cage to be. I'm sure some of you guys out there can relate with this soft spot I have for him, but this movie, I just can't get past it. It was cheesy, the effects were overdone. It kind of lost all of its momentum because it asked more questions than it answered. So in this movie, Nicolas Cage a father that's not really around and is focusing more on work than his family life. It's Halloween and he takes his son out to a festival because he didn't get home in time to go trick-or-treating with him. He then goes to buy him ice cream, he looks around and the kid's gone. One year later he's trying to piece together these different disappearances of children on Halloween and figure out what does pay the ghost mean? So this wasn't the worst film I've ever seen but it definitely was not the best. It has all of those qualities that just make you cringe and laugh. It has laughable dialogue, it has silly effects effects that are just in your face as these vultures and they just do not belong. They don't belong at all. It doesn't look right. It also has a lot of plot holes. There's a part where this blind guy shows him this writing on the wall and if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure that's what blind is you cannot see writing on the wall. There's also some scenes that make him look kind of dumb. The kid was filming on Halloween when he disappeared and it took them a year to rewatch the footage and find the missing clue. You think that someone who is obsessing over the child's death would look into all of this before now. But the aspects that really stopped me from getting into the film was the fact it had all these jump scares and offbeat jump scares so it's not that bad but also these over effects it was trying to be so scary by putting in these crazy kooky characters and weird scenes that it kind of lost its story and like I said before it spent so much time building up these questions instead of giving answers. I had written down that it was slow paced but looking back now it's not that it's slow paced it's just that it was so much content that you didn't know what bit to take seriously so it was just continuous scares throughout the whole movie instead of building it up and you know creating tension and having some really scary parts and I guess for me that's one of the things that make a good horror movie. There was also this really stupid line that people kept saying. He kept calling up different like detectives or people he knew and asking them about certain things when he was piecing together the mystery and they would tell him this huge backstory or this huge tale of what happened in order for his son to go missing and they would finish off their speech by saying that's all the info I have. So here's how to save your child from the underworld, but that's all the info I have. I don't know, there was just a lot of plot holes, a lot of questionable decisions he made, and yes, it's as cheesy as a Nicolas Cage horror movie as you expect. I have to say I didn't really enjoy this one, but I encourage you guys to make up your own mind. Personal score, I'm gonna give it four out of 10, and Dean actually told me to say four out of 10, but three of those points are for Nicolas Cage. That's coming from Dean. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a three for scares. It was a little bit scary depending on how easily you get scared. Dean watched this with me, obviously, and he gets scared of horror movies really easily, and it was boring for both of us. I'm just gonna give it a three because there was attempts to scare, there were jump scares, but watching the movie, it was more like a Disney adventure film for me. And originality, I'm gonna have to give it three because, man, it didn't go too much into the mystery that really gave you something original and something different. It was just the kind of Halloween tale that you would expect. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about this movie, Pay the Ghost. I hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit better than I did and got something out of it that I didn't. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay spooky. Bye.